You know my weekly upload challenge is very important to me, especially as it now stands at a continuous run of 286 videos. But this video is going to be quite short. Well, you might be quite pleased about that. But for reasons which will become obvious if you can manage to stick around until the end, it is going to be a much shorter video. I was very pleased with the results of the new camera position and your responses to it in the last video. I think the four camera angles provide a good range of shots, but more of that later on. My name is Tim Palmer and I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of a farm strip in East Anglia. Welcome back to the vlog and a big thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate your support. I fly for fun and basically record for my own interest and review. I like sharing my flying experiences, good and bad, and try to edit for enjoyment and storytelling. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do leave me a comment as it makes it all worthwhile. Very, very frustrating because it's all set up. I, uh, I pressed record. It's not actually saying that it is recording. It just says TF card, no more space, but it's a formatted card, so I haven't the faintest idea what that's all about. Let's have a little look. It wouldn't start on the Wi-Fi remote, but did start on the shutter button. Well. I've been a little bit preoccupied with this one because having spent the time trying to sort out that camera and practicing with it back at home to make sure that it all behaved itself, which it did, but now for some strange reason this is all locked up. I'm on, I've got it on movie, I keep pressing record but it says there's no space. I can't understand why there's no space because I've actually formatted it. I tested it at home again after the flight. So recording this initially on the phone I'm turning this over to give us something to film. I'm turning the ape man on. Okay so the ape man has come on Press the top button to put the Wi-Fi on of the 8-man. Turning on the Panasonic. So here comes the phone. Live HD is on. So coming to the icon you can see through what that camera is doing pressing record now why couldn't that do that in the plane how come it is now working absolutely fine yes there isn't a picture on the back there but that's because it's on the screen here That's peculiar. It has proved without any shadow of doubt that it works. Why didn't it in the plane? Stop recording on the eight man. Stop recording on the phone. Stop recording Let's see whether I can do a better job of the underwing camera bringing that round. The new camera mount didn't fail, I just didn't tighten it up enough. This is just a reminder of the four camera positions. I'm using three GoPro Hero 3 blacks now and one GoPro Hero 4. Yes, camera 3 is a new camera. Well, fresh to me, it's a refurbished 3 Plus. But I wanted to be able to control all four cameras 
through the remote. And I was just wondering how that one would work. Nobody about. Okay, good. Nayland traffic, Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel, turning final Nayland traffic. We had to take the uh, horse back to the vet, which took slightly longer than we thought, but she is slowly on the mend, which is a good thing. A few weeks back, we had to take her to the vet so that he could have a look and see if he could identify why she had this lameness. I have to admit, I don't know whether it's the colouring on or what, but I can't see it myself. Yeah. The vet says that she's got to be on a restricted paddock, which means she's only just got that small area outside the stable, and it's behind a padlock gate. And the other way into the paddock is through a very small garden gate. Well, I know it's quite a nice day, a little bit windy, but unfortunately um, I'm not going to be able to fly because I have uh, haven't really got a doctor's note as such, but I'll explain what happened yesterday. Karen was at a dressage event and I'd done the horse chores in the morning. I don't know whether I left the gate open, but she managed to get out. She walked through that path, she came across the back lawn, It was a horrible wet afternoon and it was fairly near tea time but she <laughs> saw the light on in the main room, came up and obviously thought she needed to get our attention. I was watching Grand Prix on the television, heard hoof noises, looked up and was absolutely horrified to find that she was standing there looking in. I rushed through put my wellies on because I was worried that she was going to get out onto the road. There I was, pulling on this and bringing you around through that little tiny passage. Okay, and what did you do? With an apple in one hand and a handful of coat in the other, I managed to get across the lawn and then towards the path. You can see just how small it was, but I also get caught up with the hose. Horses don't like confined areas and this path is only wide enough to get a wheelbarrow through. So after a second or two she decides to just run at it and in doing so she didn't mean to, she really didn't mean to, but she barged me against the corner of the building. At 640 kilograms she's a big old girl and she crushed me so much so that I was totally winded and in a lot of pain. Eventually the doctors decided that I had only bruised my ribs, but what they did say is that I should rest them for a few days. As for you, eh? As for you? Yeah, what did you do yesterday? Eh? Well, I know you didn't mean to. Hmm. Yeah, let her drink. She's dribbling all over people. Well, she's not used to sharing a drink. Oh, she's licked Sophie's head. <laughs> Sophie's got a dribble on. <laughs> Sophie's got a dribble on. And it looks like a gorgeous day, but that's the problem. 
The runway is absolutely waterlogged and that's impossible to use. But that is one really big shame, bearing in mind at the moment there's not a cloud in the sky.